But good morning everyone. Good morning. We we're at a new destination today. We've just driven to the Isle of Senya. We have come to a campsite because we needed to do washing and we also wanted to give the batteries and everything a big charge so hook up to some electricity obviously with the weather not being so good and it being really cloudy and rainy we've not been getting as much solar power as what we normally would plus being so, in the van we're consuming more power as well yeah so we needed to give everything a good charge and get some washing done so we are at a campsite on senya we're just about to just go out for a just a small walk around the campsite um, the weather is looking to improve over the next couple of days. We're kind of just waiting it out because we'd rather wait for a bit of sunshine to go on the big hikes and stuff that we want to do. So Senya is an island just um, between Tromso and the Lofoten Islands. So last night we literally just stayed at a truck stop kind of place again on the way here. It was also a cool um, stop because it had a, I think they're called Sami, I'll have to check that. Um, they had a um, shop there, it was like in a teepee, it was really really cool. They're sort of like the indigenous people of Norway and they were selling things like um, lots of reindeer products again, like sausages and whatever else they eat. <laughs> um, reindeer fur and things like that. So Traditional outfits. Yeah, traditional outfits. And it was like a gift shop as well, so there was loads of like fridge magnets and things. But yeah, it was cool. The they taps. had a little fire going as well, so it was really cosy in there. So yeah, that was quite a cool truck stop. And yeah, today we're just going to be having a little look around this campsite. Got some rock <laughs> I bet that's cold, Lucky. Oh, well You and Lottie, you mean, <laughs> you mean Maybe. <laughs> so I'll feel in the morning when I regret it. Yeah. There's this outdoor fire pit, or maybe a barbecue at the campsite, which is really cute. Views. And amazing views. How nice is this? Little fairy lights around the edge. Very cute. Maybe come back here later. So we decided about 10 seconds after we thought we might go for a swim tomorrow that it's going to rain all day tomorrow. So let's just do it now. <laughs> so. This is my nervous laugh. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that is so cold. Oh. Oh, I think that's the coldest walk we've ever been in. Oh good God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's really cold. It's really cold. It's really cold. <laughs> it's been really cold. So we're in the Arctic. We're meant to do this. The so Arctic we're swim. Gonna die. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. It's really freezing. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> it's freezing. It's freezing. It's hurt my feet. <laughs> it hurts so much. Oh. No. Oh, painful. It is painful. I can only just get my bum in it. <laughs> Look how clear it is though. Lottie on a little rock. <gasps> Thank <laughs> you. 
One big dip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah, it's cold. Oh, it's really, really cold. That was cold. Very cold. <laughs> At least we can say we've gone swimming in the Arctic. Not swimming. Not swimming. A dip. A dip in the Arctic. <laughs> I was going to say, how cold do you think that was on a scale? Minus 10. <laughs> <laughs> Coldest water we've been in. We need to go in some cold ones we in have Scotland. To... Yeah, Scotland was really cold. That um, lock that we went in in Scotland yeah. was freezing. Probably about the same as that, really. Uh, the Maybe Gorge de Verdun in France. Yeah, I don't that think was that cold. Was that cold. <sighs> That's maybe the coldest. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away? Show us where we are. The sun go to sleep every night, and what's it dreaming of? I wonder. <laughs> God, that was. <laughs> that's all right. She could have stopped there. This tunnel is crazy. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's grey outside? It really makes me wonder. This is the craziest tunnel ever. <laughs> A proper mountain tunnel. This is the craziest tunnel we've ever been in. This is like scary ass tunnel. It is scary. <laughs> Finally. That, that was, was a long. scary tunnel, that was really long, pitch black, single track, like, yeah, doesn't look like a properly built tunnel either. Yeah, that was, uh, that was the scariest tunnel we've been through. <laughs> so we've left the campsite this morning, and we was having a bit of a lazy morning thinking it was going to rain all day. The weather's changed, as it seems to do every day. And now it's looking it's not going to rain till tonight. So we thought we'd go and get a climb done. So what we're we doing? The, it's called Heston. And I think it gives you, it's right next to Mount Segler, I think it's called. Probably not pronounced like that. <laughs> but, yeah. So it's a, I think it's a 2.4 mile hike but it's very steep uh, so I think it's an estimated time of 2 hours 20 so it's quite a short one so 2.4 mile out and back so see how long that takes us how come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun? These views are already some of the best we've seen this year. Norway's definitely very spectacular. These views. Yeah, unreal views. You can actually 
actually see. It's a, it's a nice day now. It's quite warm. It's not too cold. Obviously, I'm not going too close to the edge. Back down now. It was, uh, it's steep getting up and muddy, so I'll be careful going down now. Yes, yeah, so I'll go back through the tunnels. Uh, there were a cheek through. So obviously, it was so dark in there, couldn't even feel much, but yeah, see how that looks. She's not impressed. No, nah, she hates it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Dottie. <laughs> so embarrassing. Good morning. So, we left the walk yesterday, went food shopping, and just had a quiet afternoon, really. So I thought I'd show you our park up that we stayed in last night. A lot of them are just on the side of a road, mostly just little laybys. They're amazing views, most of them, uh, they, but they, they can be a little noisy on the side of the road. Uh, so this is so this is the one we parked in last night. So there's big lake here. I don't know if you can see that cloud just sitting there. It's so low. Where's that? That cloud just there. Just sitting there on its own. So it has been raining all morning and obviously you've got the snow cap mountains. Literally just this small little thing, small little lay-by and this is the road here. Unfortunately, the road was pretty quiet all night, so we didn't get much disturbance from that, so that was good. But yeah, just to show what some of the park ups are like in Norway, and we've had a few of these now, uh, where they are just side of the road, little park ups, but we are heading towards the Lofoten Islands now, so we've got quite a bit of a drive to get there so I think we should be about three hours but we're going to try and check up a park up about two hours away as it is going to rain again today but this should be the last day of rain fingers crossed uh, and then we might have about a week's worth of sun so it should be really good and we get to really really explore the floating islands then. So. Stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? So, we our van is literally parked just over there, and we saw this building over here. So, we thought we'd come and walk around and look at it. Um, I have no idea what it is. Tried to look online, but all of the information was um, not in English, and we couldn't translate it. So it just has like, all these straight, like, all these carvings in it. Looks like a uh, spiritual or something like that, doesn't it? Yeah. Religious or something. Yeah, definitely. They look like cavemen. Yeah. <laughs> carvings or something. So I think there is a uh, remains of a of like a World War Two bunker just around here as well. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. But yeah, check out that view. I, you can't. The camera just doesn't do it justice. We got all the mountains over here. I wonder. Sometimes hides behind the clouds Maybe it's just like me A little bit scared of heights Why does the rain always keep on pouring down? 
when it's grey outside. Pretty sure that's the remains of like a World War II bunker or something. I can't imagine what else it would be. I know there is a few World War II things around here. It's all just over there. It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. So we just got back to the van from looking at that old building so it turns out it's an old church that was built as a memorial for where the world war ii bunkers was and there's actually over 40 there was over 40 bunkers up and down this coastline uh, during the war so it's very heavily military there's a military base just down the road for an old airport yeah there's a military base or and the military have already come round, and apparently they check everyone's number plates in the area uh, so yes yeah, so it's quite literally within five minutes of being here the military always uh, next to the van but the re reviews on part for night says they, they always come round, so they just check so they're really friendly don't mind just staying here so yeah brilliant little park up again we are close to the road uh, but I think two cars have gone past in the last hour so it's really quiet, so obviously at night it's, it's going to be dead. So it should be a nice quiet night with a lovely view. Thank you so much for watching this video, we really hope you enjoyed it. Please join us in the next video where we start to explore the beautiful Lofoten Islands. Where we go to a floating sauna, we do lots of amazing hikes and lots more really exciting activities. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching this and you haven't yet subscribed, then please do hit the subscribe button to help us continue to grow our channel and we will see you next time. Bye!